everybody. So we are here today with a new FMS power wagon. Well, at least new to me. Uh, as we all know, the FMS has been, the power wagon, sorry, has been out for a while now. And I just decided to pick one up. So I wanted to see what was all the fuss about this thing. So a lot of people say that this is better than the SCX24. Well, let's open her up. And here it is, a nice, nice little box that it comes in with the FMS logo right there on the front. Nicely made. And here she is. So in the packaging, what we get is, of course, the power wagon. We get some stuff here. We got another wheel. We got the back roll cage, the charger, the wrench right there in the middle. And we also get some stickers. We'll open this up in a minute. But I wanted to get this guy out. So I think it feels pretty good, actually. I think it feels pretty nice. Uh, if you Once you take it out of the package, you can see right there you got some styrofoam right here. And another one right here. So we'll take that guy out. And there she is. Here is the power wagon. I like it. I like it. Here we have the transmitter. So from what I'm seeing, I think this is the new type of transmitter that they are sending out with the FMS, the FCX24 models. Let me get this uh, styrofoam all out of the way, which does feel pretty good in my hand. I can uh, kind of do everything one-handed, which doesn't look bad at all. Doesn't feel bad. You have your third channel right here on the side. You have your on-off switch up here, your steering and throttle trim, your binding, and if I'm not mistaken, I think the bind button also turns the lights onto this guy. And then you got your reverse button right there. Uh, in the packaging, you also get your instruction manual, which tells you everything about this guy. You get all the dimensions and everything in here. So let's move that out of the way. We'll move the truck over here. Move him out of the way. Now, let's go through this guy and see what we got. So of course, like I said, they sent out stickers, license plates up here, and you got a whole bunch of stickers that you can put in. Butcher Butch and license plates from Louisiana. Now, you also get your rear roll cage, some attachments for your, some rates for your spring adjustments right in there also. Now in here, you get your stickers, Doug Power Wagon. Doug, it's a Doug Power Wagon. <laughs> get those stickers. You also get, like I said, you get your charger and your box wrench. And you also get some O-rings. If I'm not mistaken, I believe these O-rings are so you can make the shocks oil, oil dampened. So you can damp the shocks with oil. So we'll set that to the side. And right in here, you have your spare tire, which is functional. Functional spare tire, and you have your tire mount right here that will get mounted back here somewhere. 
So let's move this guy over to the side. Actually, let's get this off the table here. Small table. Now, in here, the way you open up, take the body off of the chassis, which I really have to say, this body looks damn good. This body looks really good, guys. Nice, hard plastic. It's no Lexan here. It's all hard plastic, which very nice. I I like it. Uh, you looks like you do have lights here in the front. No lights in the rear. And what I also like that they did was you got some wipers. <laughs> I like it. I like this thing. Now a lot of people say that this is bigger than a 124th scale, like this is more of a 118th scale. So let me get my SCX24 and we'll compare the two. All right, so here we are. SCX24, Gladiator, and the FMS. So the tires on the FMS are a little bit bigger than the SCX24. Um, ride height, so the FMS actually sits up higher and that is because this thing has got portal axles. As you guys can see there, all portal axles. When the SCX24 is just straight axles all the way around. Wheelbase wise, it is, well of course this is the uh, Gladiator, but a little bit shorter there but here's the difference right there so as you guys can see there that is the difference so when people say that this is more like a 118 scale I, I can definitely see it now that it's more of like a 118 scale compared to a 124 but I mean pretty much comparable it's it's very very close comparably to the SCX24 so now let's get this guy out of the way and let's take the body off of the chassis. Now in order to take the body off of the chassis, you do have your clips right down here on the bottom. Hopefully you guys can see them. I know the lighting in here is not that great right now, but they're in there and in the front right here. Hopefully y'all can see it right there. So let's go ahead and you have to actually pull them away to take them off. All right, so I don't know if it's me or not, but this is not coming off, <laughs> the body is not coming off that easy. It, it might it might just be me. All right, here's one side, here's the other side. All right, I think it was just me. And then this one here, and there she is. When you go to pop the body off, be extremely careful because the lights are connected. As you can see, there's a wire right there that is connected to the receiver. All right, so with enough struggling, I got the body off of the chassis, which this thing looks very, very nice. Like I said, you have your connection here for your lights that are going here to the front, and they are connected to the ESC right here in the front. I actually had to disconnect that so I could have the body separate. All right, so now this thing does have a two-speed transmission. You actually have your servo right here that you're actually able to switch the speeds on to on this thing. Now, this thing does come with the Power Dash RS1, the RSS130 motor. I believe people were saying that it is a good motor. This is my first FMS 
that I've gotten. So the fact that this thing has a two-speed transmission has always piqued my interest with this thing. So, um, of course, in the front, you got your three-link rods. You got your three-link in the in the rear. Of course, you do have your portal axles back here. Now there is a full 24, a full set of uh, ball bearings in this thing. Uh, full metal gear servo, steering servo. Now this frame here is not metal. This is a nylon frame, like a plasticky nylon plastic frame. And this thing does come fully ready to run. Um, I don't know if anybody has ever mentioned this, but the wheels on this thing are actually bead locks, which we'll take this guy out and I can show you. So as you guys can see, there are four screws on the back there. So this thing is these things are B-locks. If you want to switch out your tires and put different tires on here, these actually look pretty damn cool for this body. Now you do get a battery that comes already installed in here. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this guy charging so we can take this thing out for a spin and see how it does. Now, while I have the battery out, this thing does come with a 7.4 volt, 38 milliamp hour, 380 milliamp hour battery. While the battery's charging, put some batteries in this thing, wait till the battery finishes charging, and we're gonna take it outside, and we'll see how this thing does. Uh, so one thing that I do have to say is where the power button is, right all the way under there, it's a little hard to get to. Um, I might end up changing it, its location of where it's at, but it's, it's a little difficult to get to. So let's go give this guy a run. Now it is in first gear. I already broke this. Already broke it. Off the top right there. <laughs> First rollover, already broke that. That's normal. Big boulder that it's gonna try to attempt. 
that is in first gear. Switch it over. Now it's in. Now it's in third drag brake. Third drag brake. It was literally back there. I can switch this. We are now going to try to attempt to come up this way all the way up. See if it can do it. So that you guys can see, we started down here, climbed all the way up to the top up there. So, so far pretty good. Um, broke the snorkel, lost the cat. Oh, there it is, found it. There's a cat for the snorkel. I'll put that in my pocket. So now hopefully you guys, hopefully you guys all remember the boulder here. So what I'm going to try to attempt with this guy is climbing up, see how far up it'll get. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I think the gladiator went to right about there, right about there somewhere, right where, right there. And I think that was the highest that it went. So let's give this old girl a try and see how good she does. I think with better tires and some weight on the front, this thing would do wonders. So let's give this guy a run.
Alright, so by the looks of it, so by the looks of it, this guy isn't gonna be able to climb up this rock. But uh I'm not done out here with this guy yet. We still have, if you guys look right behind me, right up along this way, there's still a trail that I tested the RGT and both my SCX24, the Gladiator and the Sea Cat. See how it climbs. Up, oh, going up. So we're going up. Let's go check it out. I must admit, it did pretty damn good. Now, I did have it on high gear because I think first gear, <laughs> low gear would end up taking a little too long to get up here. So let's uh, go on back down. I'll show you guys. I'm gonna show you guys where I'm at. From the, where I'm at now to where I started and the little hill that I climbed up. So let me show you guys. All right, so we are here, and we started off, if you guys can see right there's my backpack, that's the boulder right there, so we just climbed all the way up here. back inside the house and we'll see how about talk about this thing all right guys so there we have it the fcx fcx 24 power wagon so i had a feeling that the uh tires weren't going to do too well i i already already had that feeling that the tires were not going to go, <laughs> were not going to do too well on that boulder. I mean, other than that, tires and wheel combo on this, they do look awesome. They 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 do look awesome. But I do have something that might end up helping this guy out. What do you guys think? What do you think about that? It's got a little more weight on it now with these uh, with these tires and wheels. They look so nice on here. I'm going to dampen the shocks on this thing and we're going to take it back out on that boulder. See how high this guy can go. And when I go to do that, I might end up taking the Gladiator with me. Either the Gladiator or my C10. Uh, let's go with the C10 because the C10 has a shorter wheelbase like this one. So we're going to go with this with C10. So I'll take this guy and the C10 with me and we'll see who can make it up the furthest. I might have to get some tires and wheels for the... Actually, I have tires and wheels on the C10 also. So, stay tuned for that one. You are not going to want to miss it. And uh, hope you guys enjoy the content. You all keep our scene. You all have a good one. <laughs> 